My name is Paul and I'm a vampire. It's been seven months since I last drank human blood. Hi, Hi Paul. Paul. Hi. Abstaining means I can see my daughter again, take my son to football games, go out with my old friends. It's been a rough few years and I regret some of my past choices. But I'm fighting the fight one day at a time. Well done, sweetheart. Well done. Who's next? Hi. My name is not important. Now, now, uh, sharing our names is part of the process. This is a circle of trust and truth, after all. Fine. I'm Alexis and I'm a werewolf. Hi, Alexis. Hi, Alexis. Tell us why you're here, Alexis. My sister told me to come. Zoe. She comes here. She said it helps her. She thinks that it'll help me control the bloodlust. Because I can't do it on my own. That's good, dear. And we like Zoe. But Zoe said she'd be here, but she's not. Oh, she'll turn up. She's usually here. Thanks. Would you like to go next? Hi, I'm Hans. Hi, Hans. Hi. And I sell my blood. I like it when people drink my blood. I like the way it makes me feel. I like the way I go all warm and woozy, and I feel part of something bigger and better. <laughs> now, now, really, what did we talk about the last time you were here? You've got to push those thoughts out of your mind. You've got to concentrate on going clean. He's right. Blood is what it's all about. It's life, it's everything. We're meant to be this way. Why shouldn't we give in to that? Because we're civilized beings. Fight the bite, Alexis. I want to, but I can't. I don't belong here. Nobody does. Hi, Gordo. Hi, Gordo. All right, enough. Get him out of my sight. Go on. All right, everyone. This is Alicia Hughes. She's an expert sent down by head office to help with our PR... Um... Crisis. Crisis. PR crisis. Caused by Officer Hedges' behavior at the Tooth and Claw. Oh, come on, she's not even old enough to be a PR expert. I have decades of experience and I really don't appreciate being spoken to like that. Well, we don't need a spin doctor. Norris, this is ridiculous. People will have forgotten about it in a day or two. You pulled a gun on Grace, a fellow officer. <laughs> I've had to sign her to B-team so she wouldn't kill you. Yeah, well, she shouldn't have followed me. It was her fault. Enough! This is a mess and you know it. All right, all right, all right. Look, Alicia here is the best PR person in the business. She's here to help us, so do whatever she says. We need to get the press and the Minister of Justice off our back, all right? So... Grace will head up BT, all right? They'll look into the whereabouts of Martin. We will focus on trying to capture Lycan E202. Exactly. What's happening there? Ash? The anonymous caller said that David Brannigan was next on the list. So our best bet is that Lycan E202 is going to try and assassinate him when his shift finishes at the tooth o'clock. So therefore, have stationed him at a safe location for the night. So now we just need to catch Lycan E202 in the end. Good. Right. 
I'll personally take charge of this operation then. Sir, that's inappropriate. I should be heading up the team. Maya, two things. Number one, I'm in charge. So I'll decide what's appropriate, all right? Number two, I've still got your badge, so it's desk duty for you. After one final task, something that Alicia here came up with actually, is a good idea to generate some goodwill within the supernatural community. <laughs> Fine, whatever. I am deeply sorry for my actions, and I offer, once again, my heartfelt apologies to the werewolf community, especially David Brannigan, and to my colleague, Grace McKenzie. Well, well, well. How was that? Awful. Should do the trick, as long as Grace, uh, I mean, Officer McKenzie, Finds Martin Carmichael and you catch like an A202, we should be able to publicise it all tomorrow. In fact, I might come with you tonight. Perhaps we can use it as a photo opportunity. <laughs> that is ridiculous. She knows what she's doing, Maya. Listen, there's nothing for you to do here tonight, all right? Tomorrow, 9am, you'll be on... Death duty. I know. Norris, you'd better see this. Here's how it works, Marty. You have to drink every last drop of this virgin's blood. But if you do, you're going to win the best prize of all. Eternal life. Ooh. But what happens if you fail? Oh. That little present the vampires left you. Gnarly, screaming, eating away inside you. That hunger. Well, if you don't feed that, Marty, you're the one that dies. Well, what we do? Send it to B-Team. Let Grace investigate. And you get some rest. B-Team! I should be... You'll be in your bed is where you should be. Look, this is doing no good, all right? He's just taunting you. There's no new information there. Go home. Sleep. Aye. Right. Hey, nice to hear from you. I thought you'd be knee-deep in research. Research? We're nearly out of leads for Martin already. I should be tracking like an A202. I know it was your idea to have me taken off the case, but Norris in charge instead. Um, well, Norris just wanted to separate you and Maya, that's all. Maya's on desk duty, so we were separate already. Besides, he's not clever enough to come up with an idea like that on his own. Let's have a look you two exchanged. Can't fool me, Ali. So what's going on? Look, this is just too dangerous, OK? You shouldn't be doing it, not anymore. This is my job, Ali. I know what I'm doing, OK? I don't want anything bad to happen to you. Either of you. Nobody is going to hurt our child. I promise. <sighs> Which is exactly why I asked Norris to head the mission. I can't let you near that creature. She killed the head vampire Grace. I can't have her near you. You don't get to make those decisions, Ali. This is my career. It's my life, all right? I know. But don't you understand? i do anything to protect you. Anything. Fine. For now. I love you, Ali, but if you ever interfere with my work again, we'll have a serious problem. OK? OK. Not so fast, lassie. Work, Commander. Thank you. I thought she had me there for a second. Hmm. I think Grace would have had her down quicker than I did, though. Hmm. She might have. But it's like I said, the Chief of Pits capturing a major criminal is always great publicity. Fast or no, you've done it, and we have her. Hmm. Come. Is she here? Did they catch her? 
You mean like an A202? Yes. Hold it. Have you slept at all, Maya? Or have you been out all night looking for Martin? Grace should be handling it. I sent her the video, didn't I? Grace is on it, Maya. I know. I want to go talk to like an A202. Oh, there's no point. She's still asleep. Mr. Clark. I'll meet you in the lobby. Wake up. I said wake up. Wake up! I know you kidnapped Martin. Tell me where he is. You bet. Tell me what you know. How can you be so heartless? I don't understand. Haven't you ever cared about anyone? <clears throat> ah, Miss Hughes. Pleasure. Likewise, Minister. I didn't expect to meet you. I um, thought Tina wanted to speak to me about some future freelance PR work. I'll give Tina the day off, Miss Hughes. I thought it would be good for us to meet while you're here. So I understand things are going well at Pitts, that they have like an A202 locked up, and that Hedges is behaving herself. How do you know that? I know a great many things. For instance, I know that you fed in a human last night. What? I also know that Pitts have had their day. It's time for someone else to step up and enter the fray. I don't, I don't understand. I need everyone out there to know about the many failures of Pitts. Why? That's a ministerial matter. My fiance is a member of Pitts, Minister. I can't betray her. But you already have issues. That's, that's nothing. So, do you help me and I delete these photographs? Or do you help Pitts and lose your fiance? What do I need to do? Go away. I won't help you. I didn't expect you to. A monster like you is incapable of thinking of anyone but themselves. I'm not a monster. I've seen what you've done to your victims. Werewolves are bad at the best of times, but you, you're a sickening creature. You wouldn't understand. You're just a pathetic human. Better a human than a beast ruled by bloodlust. You sound just like one of those idiots from the support group. What would you know? If your fault lover boy was kidnapped. What support group? Come on, Lycan, what group? Do you even know what the term desk ban means? Someone had to interview like an A202, didn't they? And I found out she went to a support group. If we can find that, we might be able to find Martin. Haven't you seen the time? We've got two hours left. Exactly. It's not enough. He's lost. No, we can still find him. You should take some time off. I'm not gonna just give up. I will find him somehow. Hey, pal. How are you doing? How are you feeling? Oh, don't be like that. Oh, you see, Marty, I need a favour from you. I'm in a bit of a pickle. I, I seem to be a member of my team down today. Good. Oh, don't be like that. You're just in a bad mood because you haven't had anything to eat. A big grown boy like you needs the fingers. Come on. Why don't you have a little milk? Come on. Tasty nom-noms. How about you just leave me in peace to die? <laughs> don't you be jealous. Just a friend visiting. This is quality bonding time between me and you. Why would I 
help you. Marty, you haven't heard my plan. It is a belter. I don't care about your plan, cult. You're a psychopath. It's rude to call people names, Marty. Listen, you be dirty. I heard in another life you used to be a bad, bad boy. You were a hacker before you joined Pitts. And that is of use to me. I need you to unlock a cell at Pitts HQ. For your friend of mine. Oh, they caught her, didn't they? Your little werewolf pet. <laughs> oh, there's no way I'm helping you. Well, now I have your interest. Why don't we play a little game? Will Marty hack for the cult and possibly survive? Or as I like to call it, hack or death. Catchy title, isn't it? All you need to do is hack into the pet's mainframe and open the cell. And you get this. This is a little sim. We'll cast away that little vampire hunger that's digging away in your gut right now. We've got 24 more hours of humanity. Imagine what you could do with that. All you need to do is open the cell, release my friend, and possibly give me an indication of how they found out where she was. Ignore her. She really doesn't know the answer. It's actually a little bit of a shame. Well, I will take my leave and my laptop. No, you kids are like on the Facebook. Don't want to get them distracted now. TTFN, ta ta for now. Stop. I'll do it. Ladies and gentlemen, um, thank you for coming. My team have today captured a notorious felon, one who's been terrorising both the supernatural and the human communities alike. The officers involved in this case have included both graduates fresh out of the Pitts Academy and hoary old seniors such as myself. Uh, I think this goes to show that the work we are doing here is beginning to pay off. Uh, the work Pitts does for the supernatural communities means that future generations will be safe and happy. And although Pitts has just lost an officer and has just had to discipline another, they're doing their best in difficult circumstances. <laughs> Thank you for coming. I used to be addicted to being bitten by vampires, but since joining Fight the Bite, I've been clean for three months. Seriously telling me that not only have we lost like an A202, but David Brannigan, an extremely prominent werewolf, has been beheaded. Huh? This could finish us. This could destroy pits. This is exactly what spiders are waiting for. How did anyone break in there? Martin would be able to find out. Oh, enough. Look, we've lost him, all right? We just need to focus on recapturing this werewolf. Um, I think you should go back into the press office and, um, and tell them that you've lost the werewolf. 
But wouldn't that be bad publicity, yeah? Especially after what you just said in there. Well, and why did you say that anyway? I thought it was best to tell the truth. And I think so here as well. I mean, people are going to find out eventually, aren't they? It might even generate some publicity for us. We can set up a hotline to find this A202. Uh, that just doesn't seem right. Hmm. She's the expert. Right. I better phone Grace. Tell her to come back into the office. We'll get all hands on deck tonight, I think. Maya. Just go home, man. Well, it's been a day since I last sold blood. Sorry, Jenny. No, Hans, why did you sell? Fight the fight, resist it. I couldn't resist the cash. Was this werewolf here last night? Now, now, dear, we don't barge in and ask things like that here. This is a safe space, you understand? I'm sorry, I, I'm Pitts. Well, where's your badge, sweetie? I saw in the papers. Oh, they're going to a werewolf. Ooh. You should leave, dear. No, I'm sorry, that was a misunderstanding. I am Pitts. My name is Maya Hedges. Wait, Maya Hedges? I know all about you. Yeah, you are. Oh, what happened to you was horrible. Nothing happened to me. Yeah, it did. Your parents were killed by werewolves. I remember reading it in the paper. There was blood everywhere. I'm sorry to hear that. Why don't you sit and chat about things with the group? It could help. No, it, it wasn't me. It was so. I never forgot about all that blood. I remember reading about you afterwards. I wanted to know what happened to you, how you survived. No, I, I, it wasn't me. It was so. My Hedges, daughter of Neil and Lucy, lived at 342 Nest Street, born on the- Hands, enough. You're upsetting the poor girl. 342 Nestry. 342. Oh, whoa. Grace, I need you. I know where Martin is. Hey, Marty. How are you doing? Look, thanks for all your help. Here, that'll make you feel a little bit better. And I tell you what, as a distraction, why don't we play another game? This one's called Guess the Room. Do you know where you are? No. Do you want a little clue? Was this Maya's room? Yes. Top points. Look. God, she was quite a little sprout, wasn't she? It's just a six, nine, and by the time you see her again, she'll be down here. Dead. <laughs> oh, come on. You're no fun, no fun at all. You're getting increasingly more boring, Marty. Still. Get well soon.